What's going on YouTube? Welcome to another video. It has been too long. It's been three weeks too long actually. I'm super excited to bring to you another video. I decided that this time we're going to dive into more of like the outdoors camping uh, gear reviews. Well, not really a review, but just kind of showcasing what I carry what I use when I go camping. So I actually did a trip a couple weekends ago with a good buddy of mine. Uh, we went scouting here in the South Florida area. We turned it into a camping trip as well. So I figured it'd be awesome before I take it back to go over what it is exactly that I carry here in my camping bin. Now, the reason I carry a bin first and foremost, I wasn't always one to be this organized, but uh, I realized that every time I went camping, I was constantly like grabbing everything, putting them in bags and then loading them into the truck. So I figured like this time, let me get just a bin that'll be designated to camping gear and let me take the essentials that I need in there. So anytime I go camping, I'm really just bringing this bin uh, with maybe a tent and a cooler, miscellaneous supplies like firewood. Um, if I'm bringing any firearms with me, I'll bring those. But really everything that I need, all the essentials I would say are in this box so it's really easy for me to just take this out of storage put it in my truck go camping enjoy the weekend come back put this back and everything is kind of already set i will kind of you know obviously refill the things that i use but uh for the most part i mean it's super handy to just have everything in one bin so i actually got this bin from bass pro shop it is a kind of just like a medium storage bin so nothing too crazy um so let's actually just hop right in it and get into it all right Wow, cool. Well, it's not too, too bad. Um, I'll go ahead and give you guys like a, a, a pano shot here in a second of what it looks like. But uh, let's just get right into it. So I'll just kind of just start at the top. So first thing I, I like is a good knife. Now, I don't know where this knife came from. It was definitely a handmade knife. Uh, I got it for, uh, you know, as a birthday gift this past year, but super nice. I mean, this thing is an absolute just machine um it's a little dirty i got some like meat stuff cut up on it when i was using it to cook but um you know very very nice knife here just something that's that's sturdy i can use to cook with it um i can feel dress the animal with it so like if i ever went camping and was going hunting as well uh this knife does the job so it comes with this nice sheath here um it comes with the mag stone right in there to start fires um, but yeah, for the most part, I usually carry this. I usually scout carry this or it has the capability of you can carry it on your side. Um, but yeah, this is, you know, just a nice knife that I like to carry with me when I'm out there. So. All right, next up here we have the, the we have, we have the Thermacell um, mosquito kind of repellent and so the cool thing about this is that it kind of creates this like dome area if you're not familiar with these it creates this like little dome of protection against mosquitoes is it 100 percent effective not definitely not but it does repel a lot of the mosquitoes away so what i usually do is i usually will have this like if we're sitting by the campfire um, or if i'm like cooking somewhere or if it's in the tent i will usually just turn this bad boy on it sprays out a repellent um, that is really unnoticeable uh, in terms of like smelling or seeing, it doesn't fog anything up. And it creates a pretty good barrier against mosquitoes. So they're definitely a must have, especially living in South Florida. Definitely uh, any way to keep the mosquitoes away is the way for me actually. Uh, next up, good old sunscreen, right? So uh, being in South Florida, especially we went camping in what, August, so it is brutally hot. So definitely a must keeping your skin nice and safe uh so going along the lines of the whole mosquito repellent so i found this at bass pro shop it is the skeeter hawk try that one out the skeeter hawk um, and it is actually like a wearable mosquito repellent so uh for those of you familiar with like a whoop band or anything like that it it, it looks like that it kind of feels like that i didn't end up using it uh, to be honest, I didn't use it when I went camping, but I felt like I was good with just the, the thermocell. I was wearing long sleeves anyway, so, uh, but yeah, definitely will give this a try out eventually. Um, it says each repellent tab lasts up to 30 days, so it was $9.99. We got it to trial it, never trialed it. Eventually we will, though. All right, next up we have like a little mini first aid kit. So we got just some like band-aids there, um, some 
what else do we have? Some cleaning wipes, we have some gauze pads in here. Um, and then we have some ibuprofen. We have some, what is this? We have some Tylenol. So just some basic like pain med pills. If anything were to happen to us um, or my family or loved ones or whomever I'm with, um, I at least have like the bare minimum to at least cover a wound, um, get it cleaned up, get some you know pain meds until I can actually drive whoever is injured to a close by facility. Um, so again, it's very minimal little first aid kit. I definitely want to upgrade this at some point, um, but for now, this will do. Next up, we have a variation of uh, AA, AAA batteries. Just kind of keep them in a Ziploc bag. You know, this is for things like headlamps, um, lanterns, anything that requires batteries. I just like to have a backup pair here. Uh, this is actually pretty cool. I got this from Bass Pro Shop as well. Um, this is a utensil. It's a utensil case, but it actually holds several utensils. So in here we have, let me see if I can get a close up. We have a fork, a spoon, and we actually have some chopsticks, which are pretty awesome. Um, just for those times where, you know, you're having sushi while camping. No, I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, if you're comfortable using chopsticks, there's a, actually a toothpick in here as well that's reusable, but it's nice because all this stuff, you can, you know, when you get home, you can clean it off um, and pack it back away. So super cool. It comes in this nice little case. I definitely love this, um, that little option. And what else? All right, here we have just a couple packets of beef jerky. So just things that can just last a while in here. Um, you know, it's dried meat, so it can it can last a good amount of time. Uh, this will last me until December, so I should eat these before December. Um, but again, just some some jerky to have on deck at those times where you're out camping. You just want something to, to snack on. Uh, next up, we have just some paper plates. Um, from your local grocery store, nothing too fancy. Uh, so the reason why I got paper plates is because I, you know, I love, for example, like the silverware, being able to reuse it, wash it, but I don't want to have to like wash a bunch of dishes. So I don't mind, you know, the one or two plates that I use uh, when I go out camping, you know, I throw them in the trash and keep that trash. We discard it when we get home. So just something that's convenient that I don't have to, to wash. And, and, it, and it's nice because if we have multiple people eating, that's less, heavy dishes we have to carry around so this is definitely uh this definitely helps in that area next up just a couple of towels here um again these came in handy for just wiping sweat off my face uh you know having a towel to cook with so definitely a couple of good good towels the way to go um next up i'm going to take this out just got a little pillow in here right a little pillow with a pillowcase so um again this is just you know, something nice to have. It's definitely an extra whenever you're sleeping uh, in a tent. You have your sleeping bag, just being able to have a little extra uh, cushion under your neck. Um, just a little, little bit more comfort. Uh, all right, next up we have just some paper towels. Again, uh, just something that is easy to tear away, clean, wipe stuff down, dry things down, um, and a quick, you know, discard in the trash, right? I'm you know, not wanting to you know, I don't have to beat that one down, but yeah, so paper towels. Uh, next up, just several trash bags. Um, again, just to collect trash. Uh, you know, it, it was sad because when we went camping, there's a lot of campsites that were just full of trash and it's, it's pretty crappy, but pick up your trash people, please. So I definitely have a, a good amount of trash bags with me for that. I usually will also carry, I don't have them in here because we use them all, but I usually will carry like grocery bags as well. Those just plastic bags, just really quick, easy, throwing bottles in or whatever the case may be. Uh, so definitely having that uh, is a plus. And then finally, I think this is it. Yeah, finally we have just my sleeping bag. So super easy, compact, fits in this nice bin here, but uh, you know, definitely something nice to have, right? When we go camping is a nice sleeping bag. Um, so got that as well. But really, that is it. You know, when it comes to camping, just like you've seen in, in past videos, whether it was my um, unpacking of my gun range bag or whatever, I like to keep things simple. I like to just keep what I'm gonna actually use. I'm sure there's kits out there, like camping kits that have all different types of fancy gear, which make camping super comfortable. But again, this is just kind of like my, my starter pack. Will I add to this eventually? Probably, 
but for the two day camping trip that I had a couple weekends, weekends ago, everything that I just showed you was perfectly, uh, it was enough. Um, I had a buddy that brought more cooking utensils and that's something that I probably will add to this eventually. I may get a bigger bin, add more um, you know, pots, pans, things to cook on. Um, that way if I go with my family, we have that, uh, that available to us. So that's really it. I wanted to just do something really quick, simple to get back into it again. My apologies for being so absent. Um, I, I definitely want to keep these things going. I really enjoy uh, sharing my gear and, and answering any questions that y'all may have. So thank you again for tuning in. If you haven't done so already, please like this video. If you want to see more similar content to this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Again, thank you for your support. I greatly appreciate it. And until next time, peace out.